Hey guys, I'm Real Mogong and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be making a realistic wood deck from 3D Max to Lumion. So stay tuned after this intro. In this tutorial, we'll be making the 3D model of our wood deck in 3D Max, and then we will export that to Lumion to apply the materials. And I already made the sideboards for our wood deck. This is 2.5 by 5 meters for our example. So to start with, we will make a rectangular line. here okay then we will go to the modifier and for the modifier we will be using a plugin it's called floor generator right so for the board size we'll be using three meters or ten feet long of our of wood okay then the maximum width will be using 150 okay we will be using a 2 by 6 by 10 feet of wood so the width is 6 inches or 150 millimeter and power grout for the grout is the distance between these boards if you make this around 5 or 10 then that is uh, 1 centimeter of gap so we will stick to 2 millimeter okay that's fine and then for the minimum offset we'll be making this 50% 50% so 50% of our our the length of our wood is this one so every 50 percent there is a connection alternate okay and then we will extrude this to 50 for because it is two inches all right we will go to the variation per bird okay this will make the imperfections of our wood deck because in real world we cannot make a perfectly made wood deck so it will have some offsets rotation and tilting so to start with we will go to the offset and we will keep the minimum offset at zero and we will only change the maximum offset if we try to make some offset will change okay. I think around 0.9 that's good and we go to the rotation still we will make the minimum rotation at zero and we will change only the maximum rotation I think 0.01 is fine we'll see okay so as you can see here we have some offset here in our boards and then we will try to add some tilting 
again my minimum tilt at zero and we will change the maximum tilt okay this will add realism to our wood deck i think one that's okay We can adjust the spread. Two point zero one is fine enough, and then we will make this one millimeter. Okay. So I think that's fine. Okay. Next is we're going to move I think we're done with that and we will try to move our wood deck down okay we try to move at the z axis by negative 50 millimeter okay okay i think that's fine and then for our sideboards uh, if we have this connection here for our sideboards so we will emphasize this we go to the edge okay. select this And we will make some extrude. Okay. Maybe around point five millimeter of point five millimeter. Okay, that's fine. And then We'll move this side. And also we're gonna make that to the other side. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, that's fine. And then we will make also here for our because this one is five meters. Uh, somewhere in between here, there will there, there will be a connection. So we will try to change this also. And we will make some connection of the edges. Okay. And we will try to extrude also. Okay. Maybe somewhere here in between these two. I think that's fine. 
to make it more realistic. I think we will make try to make this color gray. Okay, okay, that's fine. And then I think we're gonna add another tilting for this to make it more to make it emphasize. Here on two two millimeter, and next we will make some nails. gonna fast forward this to make it more faster Okay, so we already made our nails. I also put nails on the sideboards to make it more realistic. Okay, and for that we will select all the nails, right click, select similar, and it will select all the nails. And okay wait uh, i will change this to editable poly and select similar select similar and then isolate and i will make this to an editable poly and then I will attach this all so select attach list then I will select all of these cylinders then attach okay now they are all attached okay next is to to apply some material IDs for this for the wood deck and to do that is to go to the modifier and we'll make this as an editable poly okay and then we go to the element okay 
and under element there is a material id here okay and then we will make a standard material and then we will make this a multi sub object sub object We will apply the material and before that we will uh, delete some of this first and then we will drag this material and move to our wood deck okay. and then in material ID first I'm gonna select one element and press Ctrl A for all and we're gonna press this one this ID set number one is our material ID here as uh, its name is wood01 so this all of these element elements here are wood01 okay so so I'm gonna select randomly for our wood zero two. Maybe like that. Okay. Then I will put two and press enter. Okay. So we have now wood zero two and we go for the wood zero three. Next is wood zero four. I think that's fine. Okay. And then next is for our sidings. We will make another. So we can drag this one, put it here, and we will name this sidings one sidings okay Then I'm gonna select the sidings. So It is very colorful, but when we go to Lumion, we will change this with our material in Lumion. So I think this is fine and we can export this. Okay. So I already exported our wood deck in Lumion and I just used this for resin for our example and I just put a tree here so that it can give us a shadow and we can take 
a better look of how our material would look like so we can start now with our material wood zero one we click on this so we're gonna make uh, PBR materials on this wood deck so if you want to learn more about PBR materials I already have a tutorial on that it's called creating realistic wood with PBR materials you can check that out I just provide the link in the description below okay so we're gonna put a texture I use this tex texture in my recent animation for the wood deck so I will use this one okay and then next I'm gonna choose a normal map so I'm not gonna use this I will so I will choose the one with reflection map this one okay. and then some displacement I'm gonna move the colorization slider to the left and then make this color gray glossiness maybe around 0.8 and reflectivity maybe around 0.7 and the relief something like that displacement uh, gonna make map skill first okay um, seven okay and then gonna rotate this by 90 degrees position okay. maybe something like that and gonna add some weathering Give this the edges something like that okay. Okay. okay let's try to make this uh, render we save the changes and we go to the photo mode so I already make a camera for this one okay. 
let's check okay so let's go back and make some changes Closeness around 29 and reflectivity. Okay. Go back to photo mode. Okay, that's fine and then once we are done with this and we are satisfied with our material we're gonna copy this one and we're gonna select wood zero two and we're gonna paste our material and then we're gonna make some variant of this so we're gonna move the polarization slider and we're gonna make this a little bit darker maybe like that okay and move some position go to wood zero three and we paste again and move this slider here that and offset okay and we go to wood zero four We just copy and paste and move this color so we can have some variations because not all wood are same color so it, it will have some variant And here at our sidings, I think that's fine and now we have our wood deck and also for the nails okay. I'm gonna use the steel metal iron Just the reflectivity and the glossiness somewhere around that. Okay. Let's see how the how this would look like. We save the changes. 
we go to photo The last one. I think this fine. So I'm gonna make uh rendering for all of this. Let's open the folder and let's check our rendered images. I think our rendered images looks fine. So the most important whenever you are we are working with wood decks or any other wooden tours is that we should make some material IDs in 3 ds Max. So if we are making materials in Lumion, we could make some variants out of that and that would make our wood deck more realistic. I think that's all for this tutorial on how to make realistic wood deck from 3 ds Max to Lumion. I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful and if you do, please click the like button. If you want to learn more about Lumion animation, you can go to www.gumroad.com slash realmocom and this is my Gumroad profile page wherein you can click this product. It's called Lumion Full Project Tiny House Amaya Animation Scene. Before downloading this product, you must first register an account in Gumroad wherein the registration is free. And since this is an animation scene, you can purchase this one for just $50. And right now, you can apply this discount code, real 40 off and get 40% of the product. And you can get this for just $30. And if you want more discount, you can get a special discount code and this is only for my YouTube subscribers where you can get 60% off and download this one for just $20. And please read the full description before purchasing. This animation scene is the complete copy of my animation project and the purpose for this one is just for education and learning of Lumion animation wherein in this animation scene, you can explore, study, and learn how I made my animation. And also, you can learn how to make materials, lightning, camera positions, and render, as well as its corresponding settings. So, what's inside the RAR file? When you download this one, the, to the size for this is 4.37 GB. This is a RAR file, but when you unpack this one, it's around 6.9 gigabyte and this with this has three folders and 11 files so inside the rar file you have this tiny house amaya final that ls10 this is the lumion scene file and you can have these folders and also have this previous folders wherein you can have my typical render settings that I use in the project for exterior, interior, and the night scene. There are also important notes before purchasing this product. This Lumion scene is made in Lumion 10 version. So you can only open this file only with Lumion 10. 
and the latest version which is Lumion 11 so don't download this one if you are using Lumion 9 and older versions and your PC should pass the minimum requirements for Lumion 10 and the latest version so you can refer to the Lumion official website for this one and be sure you have an extra disk space on your PC because the file is about 6.9 GB and also you should have a fast internet connection and then what's allowed and what's not so this is self-explanatory please read this one and lastly this is how to get the special discount code to purchase this at $20 this is only available to my youtube subscribers so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe now and you will get a special privilege to get a better and bigger discount and full access to my free products on my Gumroad page so here are the steps go to my Facebook page you can click this one and send me a message type in discount code Amaya and send also a screenshot or photo of your subscription to the channel this consider as your proof and validation that you are a subscriber and then you will receive a special discount code within 24 hours so subscribe now and get this for $20 and also don't forget to rate this product after your purchase that's all for this video and I'll see you next time